I apologize. I'm going to be reading off a of paper. My videos, I usually just scream at the camera, so kind of a, <laughs> kind of a change of pace. Okay, so in my 12 years as a student, coach, and business owner in the health and fitness industry, I've seen the wisdom of the statement, methods are many, but principles are few. Of course, this is true when it comes to the study and application of your craft. If you speak to 101 different practitioners, you're likely to get 101 different methods, hopefully based on their practical application. That seems to work. Behind these methods, though, it's easy, easy to see what principles are being honored and which ones are being ignored. A principle-based practice is one that will yield results for the patient, client, or customer. But it does not guarantee the success of the practitioner's business. And make no mistake, regardless of your honorable intentions, you are in business. You are an entrepreneur, a marketer, and a salesman. A practitioner who chooses to ignore business principles is as much a derelict in his duties as a practitioner who isn't actively honing his skills and ability to serve clients. Because a practitioner who ignores business principles will not be serving people for very long. Even if you're an employee, every interaction with clients is marketing and sales. One of the best pieces of advice that I've ever gotten from the various business coaches that I've worked with is to recognize that successful entrepreneurship is really personal development wrapped up in business. And to put it another way, your business will only be as strong as your character. And my personal invitation is to focus on who you're becoming before getting wrapped up in the technical details of what you should do. Because every action that you take will proceed from the strength and balance of your character. The beautiful thing about character development is that it too is principle based. The principles of character are often referred to as virtues or ways of being. And in my experience, the two most important virtues that you'll need in your next phase of growth are courage and commitment. Of all the tools needed for personal, professional, and business success, it is the courage to listen to your heart and live, in, you live your life in accordance with it, and the commitment to persevere in the face of obstacles and challenges. I believe to be paramount. In school, your training consists of developing the mind so that you might learn the skills by which you will serve the world. Through your teachers, you receive the spark that lights the flame for your candle. In the world, your training will consist of developing the heart so that you may courageously move in the direction of your dream. Is that my echo? I sound like a different man. <laughs> um, in the world, in the world, your training will consist of developing the heart so that you may courageously move in the direction of your dreams. Through the strength of your courage, you will hold your candle high as you traverse landscapes littered with fear, rejection, confusion, and often loneliness. At last, you'll find the land that you've been called to steward with the light of your mind's education and strength of your heart's compassion. But it will only be through the dogged effort of your body's commitment to get up every single day, no matter what the climate, to fulfill your heart's longing of enlightening the people you've been called to serve. No, it is not your right to be given a job after graduation. And no practitioner who isn't willing to exercise courage and commitment is entitled to any level of success. Instead, it is your responsibility. You must take up your candle you must protect it as your feet carry your light to the people you will serve, and you must ignite the candles of love and liability in the generation that will carry on the work before your light grows dim. We all grow dim at some point, check out. This is the way of legacy, this is the way of love, this is the way of everlasting life. Set your life on fire, seek those who fan your flames. Rumi. Present to you the, uh, a nice little plaque. That's thank really cool. You thank you for coming out and doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks, my brother. pleasure. That's cool. Thank you so much.